Episode 5, The Tarbis. Local halfwit Colin has explained to the Reverend that they were both deducted by the Daleks for Davros's sinister experiments. His doubly sinister experiments because he's missing his right arm. <clears throat> Headline. Northeast Minister in shock horror anal scandal. Oh, sorry, should be alien scandal. <laughs> Back in the Tarvis, Dr. Fa is at the console. <coughs> We're just past Port Lethen. <laughs> it's time to let Clint to his hibernation. Clint! Oh, here's my. Right then, far we gone. Aberdeen. Oh, are we there yet? Shut up. Oh, how was your hibernation? I was in hibernation. Fit. Did it break? No, you can't find. I've got a weak bladder. So what did you do for 4,000 years, apart from pee? I worked out. How come your right arm's huge? Well, I couldn't have found that dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could have changed hands. Why? <laughs> uh, nah. What's happened to your voice? <clears throat> nah. <laughs> you sound campy. Fat chick! <laughs> <laughs> I'm nae <need> campy. <laughs> well, I don't think your girlfriend's going to be half a happy. But Cheryl? Oh, she's never happy. Only why I haven't changed. Uh, I'm right about to do the safety demonstration. Fit safety demonstration. Uh, stand back, look, stand up. Right. Uh, welcome aboard the Boeing at Tarvis. If Everdeen is in your travel pa plans today, we'll be happy to beam you home. We can't beam on you home. But why not? Because the beam is in for a service. Oh, if it was wrong week. It beamed somebody into a coal fire. <laughs> what if you need to hear another matter, transporter? No, it's broken enough. How? It doesn't matter. Mm. Oh, that's pathetic. Oh, anyway, we're committed to making your flight safe and comfortable. Unless we crash. All oh, right, all right, you're telling me now. Oh, no, let me do the life vest. No. Oh, here I go. Your life vest can be inflated by manually blowing in the mouthpiece. Manually blowing? Fit. You can't manually blah. You can only orally blah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I can speak grammar perfect. There's a Dalek on the Tarvis. Oh, no, what I got to get exterminated. <laughs> what the hell's happened to you? Nah, hey. Have I been? Metro-mo-sexual. <laughs> what the hell did you do to him? I said, why did you not tell us about the Dalek? He's not a Dalek. Who the hell are you? Dalek Buchan. <laughs> Pierre, you look like my GP. I am your GP. <laughs> Mintla, well, actually, Fitter Angus, or as I like to call it, the Mintla Metroplex. <laughs> why are you dressed up like a Dalek? I'm not dressed up like a Dalek. I'm a half Dalek. Did somebody hear sex with a hell Dalek? <laughs> no, he was human, but Davros abducted him and gave him the DNA of a Dalek. But I rescued him. I don't get it. 
If he was really half a Dalek, he'd look like a cross between a human being and a snotter. That is what I look like, see? Oh, gods! Oh. How come you didn't speak Dalek? I div speak Dalek. I just prefer speaking Doric. <laughs> oh, go on. Do some Dalek. All right. We had forky tails in our hoose. <laughs> But we had them exterminated. <laughs> is there only is there half Daleks on here? Oh, why, there's loads. Like what? Well, there's the first Dalek, Dalek Salmon, <laughs> and the Reed Dalek, Kenny Dalek Leash, <laughs> the Reed Heed Dalek. Dalek McLeish and the Heed Reed Dalek, Sir Dalek Ferguson. Oh my God, there are I. And here's me hates Daleks. Are you a thaw by any chance? For a chick. Oh, didn't I speak about the thaws. But why nay? I fell in love with a thaw. I'm sorry, Clint. I didn't mean it to happen, but <coughs> love is the strongest force in the universe. No, it's nay. It's a strong nuclear force. Oh, shut up with your science. So if it happened? Well, he turned out to be gay. He turned on be gay. <laughs> I mean, it turned out he was gay. Well, he was ah uh, gay. What oh, can? Yeah, mine don't mean that had done accident in the hole. Yeah, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was him. Aye, Ali. Ali something. Was it was it Ali Don? No. Ali McClent. <laughs> Can't catch us. No. Fit of the driving. Well, it looks like a 1961 Ford Zodiac that's been converted for time travel. And we're in a phone box. <laughs> Aye, but they can only do zero to 60 seconds and 59 seconds. Hold on, Mark, or we will fire! Oh, 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 that's shooting! Oh, can you need faster? Aye, but we're getting up close to Earth. I've got a better idea. Hold on to something. Hold on, on to fit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they went right past us. Oh. And look, here's the earth. I'll set the coordinates to the BP petrol station on King Street, January 3rd, 2012. Aye. And we'll probably land in Africa <laughs> last week. <laughs> oh, here, can, can I ask a favour? Fit. If we crash, can we crash in water? Fit, why? So that I can practice blind manually. <laughs> <laughs>